I know, I'm with you. I hate elites too. This one is actually kind of hard. Ow. My hand slipped for a moment. I just got thudded by that trap. So this guy, this big statue just like falls out of the sky. Oh no, she ate me. Oh, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Yeah, this one is a really hard fight. Well. Ow. Yeah, now that one is left, it's not. It's just going to be a kind of like a attrition kind of thing for just the time. It's just going to take time. There we go. Until next time, gigantic gorgon head. Yeah, until next time. Oof, that was really hard. I lost way more health than I wanted. Now I'm going to check to make sure I've given Ares a gift. Yeah, Stunlock is great. It worked really well right there. Um. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Blessing of Athena, yes. She would protect you from your enemies. Whilst I would rather that you slay them and be done. That's funny. See, so the gods kind of like bicker with each other, and they have banter. It, it's pretty amusing. Yeah, you're right. They're always. T I think I have, actually have, but anyway, um, that's a good point, Ruid. Yeah, I can always give it to him later. Now, ooh, we got some really good benefits here, though. I wonder if because we fought elites, then it increased the quality of the boons that he gave us. So, um, after slaying a foe, your next attacker special deals more damage. So, after you kill something, your next attack does 150% damage. That's really good. Not great against bosses, but good against trash mobs. This is an epic. Your cast sends a blade rift hurtling ahead. I have nothing for my cast, so it might be good just to have something to do with the cast. And Blood Frenzy says, after you're using Death Defiance, deal more damage that encounter. Um, and so that's good against a boss, because that's when you would use Death Defiance most of the time. But it's really not that much. It's like a 22% boost. Um, so I'm actually going to take... This is very, very tempting. I like this one a lot, but I think I might take Slicing Shot just so I have a little bit of reach. Like, I can shoot the cast ahead and then just let that the blade kind of spin around um, and do stuff. Okay, so Rue is on board with it, so let's just do it. Let's take the Slicing Shot. It's now, me or them. I'll show you guys what this does. If I do my cast now, I, I make this, like, death-spinning blade that just kind of travels around and mows things down and so it's just an extra trick to have and I can use it and then just go back to doing my regular attack so I like it because without any oh look at that feather duster good coming up coming up clutch if you don't have anything to do with cast, it's terrible. Cast is already pretty bad, but with nothing, just vanilla cast, oof. Yeah, you're right. It is great against the uh, Bone Hydra coming up here. Alright, so let's get some money, and maybe we can make it rain at the shop. And... Dracons. Oh boy. Here come the bad guys. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to be a little bit better with my deflect. Oh boy. What is going on? I'm getting blown away by stupidity. Alright. Let's play better. Traps. That's what. And bombs. Not good. There we go. The All right. I got from Chaos has a new effect. Oh, cool. So we got the boon from Chaos, and that gave us the extra health. So we actually ended up getting healed by that a little bit, which is incredibly important. 
So we got the extra health from Chaos. If we can get some healing, we now have 176 health, which is pretty stout. Let me just look for any urns to make sure. We definitely need the Feather Duster to try to get us a little boost here. What are our choices? Keys or darkness? Um, oh god. That's always the stupidity of Asphodel just wandering into the uh, lava. Okay, well... I'm going to take... Um, darkness just because the darkness will heal me yeah the lava is horrifyingly annoying um, if I ever go shield and I'm like charging around with my shield ability I just fly into the lava out of control it's rough alright I'm going to go over here and pick up the darkness Now, I could... Oh, no. There's the possibility... ...that I could find a healing fountain as a chamber. They're, they're randomly generated. But once you build the... Oh, God. The healing fountain... Oh boy. I can't even see what's going on. Smoke Man. Smoke Man is crushing me. There we go. That was cool. I hadn't actually seen that cloud. Alright, so I heal a little bit there. Let's see if we can get some junk food. I need a little bit. Hey, Big Skull, you got any junk food? No. Nah. Any junk food here? Not quite. Ooh, there's a shop, though. That's ter terrific. Maybe there's something I good I can buy at this shop. I have 276 Charons, so... Um, that's good. There's a Palm of Power. And there's a shop. Okay, so... Let's look at what's available at this shop here and see if I want to... What I want to do. I'm probably going to take the shop because I have so much money. And I need so much healing. And, moreover, there's not anything I really want to boost up too strongly with the Palm of Power. Let's see what's, what you got. Alright, so I can restore 39 for 22. That's terrific. Sold. And I'm not going to buy anything else because I want to save 250 for the shop. So now we're up to 81 health. And we're going to go over here. And check out the shop. Next island. Next island indeed. All right. I wonder what's over here. We'll never know. But see, the, see, look at that. Feather Duster went off. That's the great thing about it. Even in chambers where there's no enemies, they still have urns. And, like, you can just find food in these chambers. The ones that are right by Charon. Ooh, look at this. I can buy these Oh, I can't buy them both. Oh, it's breaking my heart. Quite literally. Um, I know. I God, I wish I found some money and I could buy both of these. They're so good. Oh, he got upset. Um, what's up, dude? I finally met Hermes, God of Swiftness, Travel, bringing souls of the departed to your boat. Calls you his professional associate. You and he, you've been working together for a while, haven't you? Yeah, Charon, you guys have been working together for a while, haven't you? Charon always gives this response, and it's troubling. You don't say. You don't say. All right, let me see here. So I've given Charon one gift. If you bring up the Codex, by the way, uh, you can see all of the gods and like how far you are in terms of giving them gifts. Thanatos is the only Chthonic god that I have not given a gift. 
of nectar. And so I kind of want to save it for him. I've already given Charon one. Poseidon. I have given Ares a gift, so that's great. So Poseidon is another Olympian god that I haven't given a gift to yet. Yeah, I, I, I love Thanatos, so I want to give it to him for sure. All right, so now I'm going to save it. Do I want to go Poseidon, or do I want to get max health? I know, I'm with you, Rua. They're bo they are both good, aren't they? Um, we're going to fight the boss in the next chamber. By the way, the pattern for this game is always there's like a free chamber without enemies before you fight the boss. So we're in the free chamber now, and then you can see the boss is here because of the two chevrons. And the skull, and then that diamond. So I'm going to get a diamond if I can win, which is a nice item that you need for uh, leveling up things back at home. I'm going to take the health. I just love having health. Um, and then I'm going to buy these darkness to heal even more. And then we're going to split. I have 131 health and 2 death defiance to go fight the... Bone Hydra. Let's see what happens. Tell Hermes hey for me. Yeah, tell Hermes hey for me, or tell Her Hermes. Uh... Changed up your look again, have you, Hydra? Oh, he changed up his look again. That's not good. Oh, that's right. Yep. Thank you. I was going to forget it, wasn't I? Oh, boy. Oh, look at that. There's some junk food from the Feather Duster. Get it. There we go. Alright, so this boss, it's basically like... It becomes invulnerable, and these other Hydra heads come out, and then once you defeat them, then you can go back and start damaging the head itself, the main head, which is what we're going to do here. Oh boy, that was a bad exchange there. I didn't do very well. I forgot that the thing was going to fall from the sky on me. Alright, he's invulnerable again. I will be using a Death Defiance most assuredly. One. Oh, that hurt, Tempest. That did hurt. I hope so. Can't do that. There we go. Shoo. That was scary. I don't want to have to use two. Because the Minotaur is yeah. so tough. Yeah, we, we got him. And that's actually my first time beating that boss with the spear. So I get the diamond instead of darkness, which is great. Oh, that was... 
That was a tough one. That was a doozy. Win some, lose some, still alive. Yeah, I need more blood. And so I don't even know how to get more blood after you have defeated the Furies with the weapon more than once. Um, I thought just like the first time you got the blood and then after that you got something else. So let's restore 80. That's a pretty good restoration. We're at 122. Um, let's go ahead and buy something. All right, we're definitely buying this. Um, uh, I don't really want either of these. I'm going to save my money. And press on. Onward. Onward, indeed. Check. And here we are. Elysium. Time to pick a fight. That's right. Let's pick a fight. Hey, feather duster. Boom. It's going off. We're getting the stuff. There it is. Okay. So we could go Palm of Power, or we could get Athena again. Um, honestly, I think I might take Athena just because I love the Palm of Power. I love everything about the Palm. But I still am missing just basic abilities. I need a boon for my attack, I need a boon for my special, and I need a call. So let's go for Athena and see if we can get something there. More strongbows. They health food. Mm. These guys, they die and then they spawn this like floating death eye and you have to kill that quickly. And if you don't, then they respawn. So, kill the Death Eye. Ooh, Chaos Gate. You know I'm taking that. Uh-oh, Exploding Cart. Man, this thing will not die. There we go. Goddess Athena. I know, the carts are terrifying. They're just like rolling around, getting ready to rip you apart. Um, all right, let me pick up my stuff. Here's some health. We got the uh, health restorer again, the Eye of Lamia. So we're doing really well in that respect. Let me just go ahead and accept in this. In the name of Hades. In the name of Hades. Okay, so. I can get Divine Strike, which says your attack is stronger and can deflect, so that's really good. Um, oh, but look at this. Death Defiance makes you impervious longer. Replenish one use. Um, so that means like I would get my Death Defiance back that I lost. That's very, very tempting. That's an extra life. Or at least 50% of a life, right? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Divine Strike is like, I'm. it's good every time I attack. And that's what I'm doing most of the time is just dash attack. So it's going to give me 40% more damage and deflect, which is a defensive maneuver. But Deathless Stand is giving you this really unique refill, basically. I think I have to take it. So, you can see in the lower left, actually, I've never seen that before, that interaction, but my Death Defiance has been refilled, and there's an Athena symbol now uh, on the Death Defiance. So, that's cool. And I can go to Daedalus or Hermes. Whoa. Interesting. We're going to go to Daedalus because I love Daedalus. Although... I could also go to Chaos. Um, normally I would go to Chaos because I like Chaos a lot. But I think I'm going to go to Daedalus because Daedalus is just so insane.
Oh, double food. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh-oh. Death eyeball. Okay, here they come. Now we gotta kill this caster back here because I can't have a bunch of like ranged attacks coming at me. Oh boy. Man, this uh, Ares buzzsaw is doing some work for me here. I like it. There we go. Almost. 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 Come on. But, man, this room is like the never-ending room. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Um, so there is a trove trial and... No more pots to break. Alright, Daedalus. How's it going? Okay, so... I can get triple jab, which your attack strikes three times in a spread pattern. Flurry jab, hold um, attack to strike rapidly, but you cannot spin attack. Or I can do massive spin to give me a bigger spin. Um, I think I want to try flurry jab. I love, like, just rapid attacks. Need all the firepower I can get. So for... Yeah, see, so here I can just hold down the X button, and this is what my flurry jab looks like. It's kind of like a a triplet. Like, it's three attacks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, and so that would be good. If it stun locks, it's even better. But it's great in situations where I just want to get right up on something. I don't want to dash and take it down as quickly as I can. Um, this is restore up to 100 health. I don't think I need this, um, and I'm going to explain why. I have the Eye of Lamia for one more encounter, and I think that's enough with my Feather Duster, but I could be wrong. I might want to do it just to try to get some money. I'm going to go to the shop because I don't need gems, um, but at the same time... 234 is a kind of a precarious number to enter that shop with. Like 250. Let's see. So. No, I'm going to go in. I'm just going to go in the shop. What you got, buddy? I like how he has a little sign. Oh, look at this. Feather Duster. Terrific. So, there's... Again, we get plus health and Dionysus. I'm going to take Dionysus this time instead of the plus health. Um, because... Yeah, Hangover is great. Let's do it. Cheers, mate. Cheers, hey, mate. What's uh, with that Kron man? He's sort of I don't know. Though I am glad he's been of service. I like how Dionysus is kind of like he's drunk, he's stoned, he's British. He's he got a lot of things. He is a bro. I mean, look at him. It, it's hard to take your eyes off of him when you look at him. It's troubling. Um, but he gives you some good stuff. So let's just be, be glad that we're friends. All right. So. Um, Wow. This is amazing. Um, using a fountain restores all your health and gives you bonus damage. That's cool. Your special inflicts hangover. That's also cool. Um, although I'm not using my special too much. But this is good. Dionysus aid. Your call inflicts hangover on all foes around you for 1.5 seconds. Um, now... I don't have a call, so if I took this, I would actually get a call. And I think that that's 
better than helping out my special. Okay. Now, I have 84, so I could just buy this right now and restore my health all the way. I'm only down 28, so it's a bit of overkill. But I am going to Poseidon and fighting some elites, so I think I'll just take some extra health. That's a relief. The cool thing is, I actually have not given Poseidon a nectar, so I can... I can do that here if I can clear this. 